Hello, I'm Atu Jimmy and you're watching Hornbill TV's Prime at 9, now headlines. After two decades of struggle, more than 1,100 youths of two different militant organizations of Barak Valley today joined the ministry. Close to 50 job experience protesting in the front of Tripura Education Minister Ratan Lal Nath's residence in Tripura were injured after police and TSR personnel charged the protesters on Monday. Sounding the whole bugle for the February 2023 Assembly elections, Sri Namal Congress Supremo and West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee reached Meghalaya, capital Shillong, on Monday. Banerjee will discuss the election strategies with party workers. BJP leader Pupendra Patel took oath as the Chief Minister of Gujarat for the second consecutive time today in the presence of Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Indian Home Minister Amit Shah. More than 1,100 youths of two different militant organizations of Barak Valley and Assam have joined the mainstream society. After facing hardships two decades ago, the Brew or Re Young Community Youths took up arms. Today, they formally laid down arms in Katli Chera of Haila Kanye district in Assam. Since 1990, youths of the Re Young Community living near the Assam Mizoram border in Barak Valley took up an armed struggle. In 2007, a group UDLF Close BV along with 800 militant caters laid down their arms and joined the mainstream only to give way for the rise of two other militant organizations, the Brew Revolutionary Army of Union and the United Democratic Liberation Army. BRAU was led by Rajesh Torki while the UDLA was led by Tanyiram Ria. According to verification, it was 6.45, but due to illness and some accidents, uh, 12 has been died and now at present 6.34. So we have sophisticated like AK-47, 56 and M-16 also, which, were, which have been already displayed here. Our main demand was Riyang Autonomous Council, but earlier Assam government has decided that uh, Boros and Riyangs are same in same category, their culture, our culture, languages. So, government of Assam, Sri Dr. Himanto Viso Sarma has decided, CM of Assam has decided that both Riyang and Boro will be uh, achieving one autonomous council, that is Boro Kasari Welfare Autonomous Council, which has been given us. Uh, last year in 17 January 2021. Uh, the entire tribal villages or young villages, we can say that it is all of the villages are under for, uh, what we say this inner line forest to jump. That is why uh, land pata should be given through the uh, Forest Right Act 2006. That was our secondary demand. The two militant groups, after being involved in crimes such as extortion, kidnapping and even killing, set for peace talks with the Assam government in the year 2016. Six years later, today, both this militant group, along with their 1,179 caters, laid down their arms. BRAU has 634 caters and UDLA has 545 active and trained caters. AK-47 as well, uh, uh, M-16 as well, uh, 400 rounds of ammunition as well. So, all of this are our Manonia speaker, Nangori, and our Manonia monkey, Nangori, and our Manonia monkey, and our Manonia monkey, and our Manonia monkey, and our Manonia monkey. Today, we have a milder and a milestone, because we have a very long process. In 2017, we have a peace process in 2017. Today, 
रिहेबिलिटेशन कर चिंता कर और आम कम एने भविष्य इतना क्यों उग्रपाती संगठन जन्म नोट लक्ष्य रखे कम The militants laid down their arms today in Katlichera in the presence of Biswajid Daimari, the Speaker of Assam and Cabinet Minister of Assam, Muyush Hazarika, who hailed the youths for their returning to the mainstream. <laughs> ये आप लोगों का त्याग है ये आप लोगों का महानुभव है आप लोग आप लोगों का जाति के लिए आप लोगों का अंसल के लिए लड़ाई किया था उग्रपंथा आप लोग ने लिया था लेकिन आप लोगों का समझ में आया लड़के झड़के हम लोग कुछ नहीं कर पाएगा हम लोगों को शांति चाहिए तभी इस अंसल का इस एरिया का डेवलप होगा चेयरमैन राजेश सोलकी जी और उनके साथियों आप सभी को मेरी तरफ से मैं अभिनंदन ज्ञापन करता हूँ कि आप लोग संग्रामी जीवन छोड़ के आज जो मेन स्ट्रीम पे आया है तो अच्छी तरह से आप लोग साधारण लोगों की तरह समाज को नेतृत्व देके टू डिकेड्स ऑफ मिलिटेंसी हैज कम टू एन एंड इन बराक वैली टुडे इन कटलीचरा ऑफ हाइलाकांदा डिस्ट्रिक्ट इन असम मोर देन 1100 मिलिटेंट्स ऑफ ब्रू और अदर रियांग्स हैव लेड डाउन देयर आर्म्स इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ बिशोय दायमारी द स्पीकर ऑफ असम and cabinet minister pijush hajarika with the laying of arms we can now say barak belly can come to terms with peace andul daskar for on bill tv close to 50 job aspirants protesting in front of tripura education minister ratan lal nath's residence in tripura were injured after police and tsr personnel charged to protesters on monday the injured job seekers have been admitted to the igm hospital agartala for treatment The protesters assembled in front of the education minister's house seeking jobs for positions of graduate teachers in the school education department. Speaking to reporters, the leader of the STGT qualified candidates, Bibla Bomik, said they organized a protest to meet the Education Minister Ratan Lal Nath and seek answers from him regarding jobs. Instead of giving any answers, they were treated like criminals. He said, adding that the police and other security personnel were pressed into action. New Kodwe bola chhe, sheitar kato tu ko agrogoti holo sheita. देखार जो सर संगे एक सौजन्यमूलक सकतर जो आप सबा एकत्रित मिलित हई कंतु देखा गया है कि हम से सौजन्यमूलक सारे ऊपर पुलिस बाहन सीआरपी बाहन ले लिए देरा प्रचंड भाव मेरे से कि हमारा कि शिक्षक ना कि बुझते पर एम भाव मेरे से मना हे कि सन्दी एम भाव ले लिए दे सीआरपीएफ एवं टी एस आर जवान दे डी एख तीनजे हाथ भेगे गेजे पा भेगे गे हासपत् एडमिटेड आई जी एम हासपत् सतचल्लिस जन आहत सतचल्लिस जन आहत अवस्था आज कैक जन के आहत अवस्था एडिनगर थाना अरेस्ट कर नहीं जावा
আমি এখন আইজিএম এর প্রাঙ্গণে দাঁড়িয়ে আছি আজকে সকালবেলা আমাদের রাজ্যের বিভিন্ন প্রান্ত থেকে আমাদের রাজ্যের শিক্ষিত যুবক যুবতী যারা এসটিজিটি পরীক্ষায় পাস করে বা পরীক্ষা দিয়ে দু বছর ধরে বসে আছেন ত্রিপুরাজ্যের বিজেপি আইপিএফটি জোট সরকার বিশেষ করে সরকারের শিক্ষামন্ত্রী রতনলাল নাথ বিগত কয়েক বছর ধরে শিক্ষা দপ্তর অধীনে এসটিজিটিতে যারা পরীক্ষা দিয়েছেন বা ট্যাট জেআরবিটি টিআরবিটি প্রায় তার প্রতিটি সাংবাদিক সম্মেলনে বলেন সমস্ত যারা পরীক্ষা দিয়েছেন বা পাস করেছেন তাদেরকে নিয়োগ করা হবে আমাদের একমাত্র দাবি হল এই পরীক্ষায় যত জন পাস করেছে হ্যাঁ মানে কোয়ালিফাইড হয়েছে প্রত্যেককে যাতে ক্যাটাগরি ওয়াইজ একসঙ্গে নিয়োগ করা হয় এটাই আমাদের মূল দাবি আজকে আমরা তিন মাস যাবৎ শিক্ষামন্ত্রী অর্থমন্ত্রী এবং সুশান্ত স্যার বিভিন্ন মন্ত্রীদের দ্বারে দ্বারে উপস্থিত হচ্ছি A pregnant woman was also allegedly roughed up by security personnel. Soon after the incident, leaders of opposition political parties launched a scatting attack on the state government. CPIM State Secretary Jitendra Chaudhary, who paid a visit to the injured person, said that the PJP has deceived the unemployed youths of the state. Congress leader Ashish Shah also came down heavily on the police action. He said this shows the PJP's attitude towards the unemployed youths of the state who have proved their capabilities by facing exams. Trinamul Congress in charge for Tripura, Rajiv Banerjee also condemned the use of force on democratic protests. Pupendra Patel took out as the Chief Minister of Gujarat for a second straight term in Gandhi Nagar on Monday in the presence of Prime Minister Narendra Modi and other dignitaries. Patel was administered the oath as 18 Chief Minister by Governor Acharya Devrat at a function held at the Helipet Ground near the new Secretariat. Kuvarji, Bavlia, Mulubai Bera, Kuber Dindor and Barnuban Paparia were among other MLAs who took oath as cabinet ministers. Who? Who? Bhupendra Radnikan Patel Ishwar Ame Sogand Launchu Ke Ishwar Na Ame Sogand Launchu Ke काय दाथी स्थापित भारतना संविधान प्रत्ये काय दाथी स्थापित भारतना संविधान प्रत्ये हूँ हूँ साची सद्धा अने निष्ठा धराविश साची सद्धा अने निष्ठा धराविश हूँ हूँ भारतना सार्वभौमत्वनु अने भारतना सार्वभौमत्वनु अने अखंडतानु समर्थन करीश अखंडतानु समर्थन करीश अने अने हूँ हूँ गुजरात राज्यना मुख्यमंत्री तरीके ना गुजरात राज्यना मुख्यमंत्री तरीके ना मारा कर्तव्यो मारा कर्तव्यो सद्धा पूर्वक अने अंतह करण पूर्वक बजाविश सद्धा पूर्वक अने अंतह करण पूर्वक बजाविश अने अने भय के पक्षपात भय के पक्षपात राग के द्वेष विना राग के द्वेष विना तमाम लोगों साथे तमाम लोगों साथे 
संविधान अनेक कायदा अनुसार संविधान अनेक कायदा अनुसार न्याय पूर्वक वर्ती न्याय पूर्वक वर्ती in the just concluded Gujarat Assembly election, counting for which was held on December 8, the PJP won a seventh straight term by winning record 156 seats in the 182 member house. The Congress won 17 constituencies and AAP 5. Patel, 60, resigned as Chief Minister along with his entire cabinet on Friday to pave the way for the formation of a new government following the election results. He was elected as the leader of the PJP Legislative Party on Saturday, following which he met the governor and staked the claim to form the next government. Patel won the Kadlotia seat with the highest margin of 1.92 lakh votes in the elections. The three-member committee constituted by the Ministry of Home Affairs, Government of India to study the Eastern Nagaland People's Organization's demand for a statehood would be visiting the Eastern Nagaland from December 16 to 18. The committee consisting of A.K. Mishra, Advisor Nortis, Dr. Mandeep Singh Tuli, Joint Director of Intelligent Bureau and A.K. Dhyani, Director of Northeast Division, has been formed as assured by the Union Minister Ahmed Shah on December 6 during the meeting with ENPO in New Delhi. The team will hold meeting at Twensang. On December 16, the team will have meeting with ENPO and memorandum signatories and the following days, the committee members will hold series of meetings with seven tribal bodies. Eastern Nagaland Women Organization and Eastern Nagaland Students Federation, GBs, DBs, senior citizens and state officials and district administration. It may be mentioned that the ENPO has been demanding separate statehood, citing discrimination on development of eastern region of Nagaland. The ENPO delegation met Union Home Minister Amit Shah on December 6, where Union Home Minister assured of a clear roadmap for amicable legislative and sustainable solution for eastern Nagaland. The Old Assam Students Union on Monday organized a memorial in remembrance of all the people who lost their lives during the entire CAA protests at Hati Kaudis Higher Secondary School playground in Guwahati. During the memorial, the families of the victims, members of Silpi Samaj students and leaders of AASU resolved to intensify the stir against Citizenship Amendment Act. Several organizations, including AASU, Northeast Students' Organization, and SM Jatiya Parishad, had observed Black Day on December 11, 2022, to mark three years of the passage of CAA in Parliament. It's been three years that the people of Assam and Northeast has been fighting against this draconian Citizenship Amendment Act. It was in 11 December of 2019 when affronting the sentiment, affronting the logical statements of the indigenous people of Assam and North East, the BJP government, on account on the power of its uh, majority in the parliament, they imposed this draconian act on the people of Assam and North East. Even at that point of time, we clearly stated that there is basic difference in the character of the movement that was going on against Kai throughout the entire country and in Assam and North East. In Assam and North East, the sentiment is quite different. This act will impact the heritage of the indigenous people of Assam. And in Assam, there was a history of six years long Assam movement. After that movement, the historic Assam Accord was signed. And based on that accord, when for the entire uh, nation, the cut-off year for illegal, uh, illegal foreigners is 1948, Assam, uh, on behalf of the entire nation, alone have taken the burden of illegal immigrants up to 1971. As per the Assam Accord, those who have infiltrated to Assam till 24th March midnight of 1971, they will be given citizenship, they will be given shelter in Assam. So after so many years, the Assam Accord when is not implemented properly, if we are told that we have to take additional burden of illegal migrants of 43 years, a small state like Assam cannot take that additional burden. So this was the logical demand. 
this, for this reason only the people of Assam and North East equally fought against this draconian citizenship amendment. See, we are uh, paying our homage to the martyrs of the anti car movement and we are taking a vow. Uh, till the car is scrapped, the non-violent movement, democratic movement, at the same time legal fight will be on till we achieve the goal. One person was killed and another injured in a road accident at 12 Mile under Pioneer Hut Police Outpost in Reboy District on Monday. It was informed that one youth identified as Sunil Deka died on the spot, while the injured person identified as Vidyod Doloy was shifted to Pioneer Hut PHC for treatment. The Pioneer Hut Police on Receiving the information, rushed to the spot and took stock of the incident. Later, the deceased body was sent to the civil hospital, Nongpo, for a post-mortem examination. FIR has been lodged in this regard. <laughs> Brown sugar, the cover of the seventy two Yava tablet. I to the center, instruction special secret information Kuluvari, ward number five A, from the Idisnir Bari to the Kuni, among Uganetujan possession and the Bishkota, brown sugar, please, under Maldu, Moyamana, here, covered by Lazio. You know, Duzolora, i I don't help her. I don't want to live Hitata ni hota hoyse, aru ajon mane medical kori bolay loy gosya. That's all we have for now. Keep watching Hornbill TV.